We, Charlie and I, have thought about options all our life. I mean, my, my guess is Charlie was thinking about that in, in grade school. And, uh, um, you know, and I, I mean, you, you have to understand, you don't have to understand Black Shoals at all, but you have to understand uh, the utility uh, and in a general sense, the value of options, and you have to understand the cost of issuing options, which is a very unpopular subject in certain quarters. Uh, any option has value. I mean, I bought a house in 1958 for $31,500, and let's assume the seller of that house had said to me, I'd like an option on it, good in perpetuity, at $200,000. Well, that wouldn't have seemed like it cost me much if I'd given it to him. But an option has value. Any option has value. And that's why some people who are, uh, you know, kind of slick uh, in business matters sometimes get options for very little or for nothing. Uh, I'm not talking about stock options. I'm just talking about an option to purchase anything. Uh, they get options for... Uh, far less than really a market value would be. Black Shoals uh, is an attempt to measure the market value of options, and it cranks in certain variables, but the most important variable that cranks in that, that might be subject, uh, well, might be a case where if you had differing views, you could make some money, but it, they, it, 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 it's based upon the past volatility uh, of the asset involved, and past volatilities are not the best judge of value. I mean, if you'd looked at a, at a five-year option at Berkshire, on Berkshire stock at various times, Berkshire stocks had a fairly low beta, as they call it. Beta is a measure that people in ac academia always like to give Greek names of things that are fairly simple, and so that they have sort of a priesthood, you know. It's a, so, it's, you know, it's like priest talking in Latin or something. I mean, it, 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 it kind of cows the, the, the laity. Uh, but they, beta is a measure of past volatility. Berkshire's had a low volatility, but that didn't mean that the option value of it to anybody that really understood the business uh, was lower than, a, than, than uh, a stock with a higher beta. And I think Charlie, what Charlie said is that last year is that over that for longer term options in particular uh, Black Shoals can give some silly results. I mean it it misprices things but it's a mechanical system and any mechanical system in securities markets is going to misprice things from time to time and that's we we made one as I mentioned last year we made one large commitment that basically was uh, had somebody on the other side of it using black shoals and using market prices uh, took the other side of it and we made 120 million dollars last year uh, and we love the idea of other people using mechanistic formulas to price things because they may be right 99 times out of 100 but we don't have to play those 99 times we just play the one time when we have a differing view uh, uh, Charlie you want to comment on yeah but black shoals is a what I would call a, a know-nothing value system. If you don't know anything at all about value compared with price, in other words, if, if, if price is teaching you all that can be known, then Black Shoals on a very short-term basis is a pretty good guess, you know, for what a 90-day option may be worth in some stock or another. The minute you get into longer-term options, where you don't have the know-nothing factor so extreme. It's crazy to use Black Shoals. Uh, people use it just because they want some kind of a mechanical system. But uh, at Costco, for instance, within a fairly short period, we issued stock options at 30, and we also issued stock options at 60. And Black Shoals valued the options we <laughs> issued at 60 was a strike price, way higher than the options we issued at 30. Well, this is insane. Well, we like a certain amount of insanity. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's good for Warren, who picked up this extra $120 million. But 
So well, he, will, he's, he's fonder of this kind of insanity than I am. No, we will pay you real money if you will deliver to our offices at Kiwa Plaza somebody who wants to use the Block-Scholes model and is willing to price uh, 100 options for three years willing to, using the Block-Scholes model and letting us pick and choose among those because, the, as Charlie says, it's a know-nothing uh, affair. And, and we are know-nothing guys in respect to an awful lot of things. But every now and then we find something where we think we know something. And, and, uh, and anybody that's using a mechanistic formula is going to get in trouble in, in that situation. But options have value. I mean, we, we issued options in a sense last year when we, when we sold those, the 400 million of, of, of bonds. Uh, and we know what we're giving up when we, when, we, when we sell those bonds. I mean, we may have gotten what uh, a negative coupon of sorts, but, but that's because we gave up option value. And, and uh, you know, it, wasn't, it isn't truly a negative cost instrument at all because options have value.